Welcome back to Genuine Coder guys. This is the 10th video in the library system development tutorial series and in this video we will see how to attach listeners to this button. I mean when I press on this add member button I want to display the previously created add member window and uh, similarly for these four buttons. Before that I want to give some CSS for this button and I have copied a simple CSS from my previous project for setup button it just set the background color and the when the mouse hover it it changes its color so uh, this is not required so that's it for that I'm going to press on this issue button and uh, style sheet I'm going to add main.css then here I'm going to use the setup button so that's fine from for the review or submission also I'm going to repeat the same process adding style sheets then giving the setup button so that's fine uh, maybe I will have to just give padding for the button let that be 20 so that's great now we go to your submission and when I press on this add member I want to load the add member window for that I'm going to the code section and on action load add member so that's cool then here load add book here we have to load the member list so load member table here load book table so these are the four functions and I'm going back to the library assistant project and here in the main section so this is my old project sorry for that then here in the main.fxml I am going to click on this make controller so I got the control generated and here I have the four functions I have defined so uh, I want to define one more function for adding since the same code is repeated for for this function I want to uh, create a new function load window and which takes two parameters string location string title and we have to load an FX symbol for that uh, I'm going to create an object of the parent so parent parent equals then in order to load a new window I have created a tutorial for loading new window from FXML file just like that so FXML loader dot load here we have to give the file UR location. So here get class dot get resource. Here we will have to give the name. So here I am going to give the name uh, of the incoming parameter. So location should do. Then here I am going to surround the statement with try catch. So that's fine so far. The class parent is used because for each of these uh, FXML file, the parent component will be different. I mean, that will be a stack pane in some case or angle pane in some case. So we are using parent as the parent class. So uh, that's fine. Now we have to create a new stage. So stage stage equals new stage. And for that stage, we can give style and here I'm going to give stage dot decorated stage then we have to give a title for the stage so set title and here I'm going to give the title that is received through the argument and we have to associate a scene with the stage so stage dot set scene and create a new scene so a new scene inside that we can give the parent so parent root so here I am giving the parent so that's it we have created a scene from this pattern and it is added to the stage and the last statement is stage dot show show so that's it so that's about the load window function and when we press on the load or add member function we have to call this method load window so I'm going to do that load window and first we have to give the location of the add member fxml file so this is the add member fxml file so you have to give the complete path of the file so it will be library bar assistant bar ui bar add member so that's the entire 
package name bar member underscore add dot fxml so that's the complete path of the uh, load uh, load add uh, I mean the add member window and we have to give the title add new member and in order to test whether the code is working we have to add a loader for the main controller so in the UI section just like before I'm going to create a Java class that will be main just main I'm going to give the name just main since that is the main class of our program and here we can reuse the code from any other controller uh, not controller uh, loader here member list loader is fine so I'm going to copy it the code and coming back to the main file then pasting it right here instead of member list loader I'm going to give the name main and here our fxml file name is main.fxml so that's what we'll do and I'm going to build the project right now so that is fine I'm going to right click on it then run so as you can see our code our main window is loading and now I am going to click on this add member method and it is taking a while because uh, the delay for loading the database handler so it will be better if we first instantiate or first call the database handler from the main itself so it will not take you know, so much time for the buttons to load so that's fine our add new member method is loading so we have to repeat this process for add book view members and view all books i'm going to pause for a moment in order to save some time because what i'm doing is a repeated process i'm going to write this load window for all these three tables see you in a moment i have completed all this method with the corresponding location of the fxml file and the title of the window so that's right one more thing that we have to do is to set the default I mean the first class to be loaded to the main class so I'm going to the uh, library assistant project from the property section I'm going to the run section here you can see that the first uh, met, uh, first class to be added is assistant. here we have to change this to the main so library assistant dot ui dot main dot main is the new class file so that's fine I'm going to press run so as you can see we got the uh, window so I'm going to press on the add member and we got add new member for add book we got the add new book for view members we got member list and for view books we got the book list so that's it we got uh, these four buttons working and in order to save the execution time we will have to move this uh, new database handler I mean first instantiate the database from here itself so it will uh, um, uh, show the stage I mean main.fxml here I'm going to take a handler object so database handler handler equals database handler dot get instance or simply we just don't want to allocate any space for that we just want to call dot get instance it will be great if we can put this on a thread because subsequent calls will not have to create a database handler object uh, so uh, it will load from the starting of the program itself so now let's run the program as you can see it is taking a little bit of time to load but once it loads all the button interactions are fast because there is no overhead of loading new database handler object so that's it guys I think that's the end of the 10th video I'm sorry I forgot to commit for the last two tutorials in the JIT the last uh, commit was for the 8th 7th tutorial and from this uh, for this video I will commit uh, the entire code to the GitHub. so Stay tuned for the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.